So uh, this is it. And I've got about 25 to 30 members of my private inner circle flying here to party with me for my 43rd birthday. So they're gonna get to come up inside of this hotel room. We're gonna hang out. I'm gonna do a live three hour training seminar inside the hotel room. So for all the dead broke, jealous douchebag haters that say me and my wife are liars, scam artists, we're not real, our private inner circle doesn't really exist, I beg to differ. And again, documentation always beats conversation every day of the week. And I prove everything that I say and do. I am the freaking GOAT. Stay tuned. More to come. My birthday celebration weekend. Hey everyone, hope everyone had a great week and a great beginning to their weekend. And three points uh, there to the clips we just saw, actually more, but uh, the one, most important one was Christopher Mitchell uh, filming the room where he was doing his uh, MLM marketing sales tactics. Uh, Christopher Mitchell said there was 25 to 30 people that were flying in, similar to the 45 to 50 last year. Uh, you know, if your things, uh, your event is like an hour away, you would know exactly how many people are coming. Not like 25 or 30 that, you know, if they're flying in, they're telling you. So you'd have the exact count. He doesn't have the exact count. He's just pulling shit out of his head um, to this uh, event uh, to where they fill their heads with multi-level marketing pitches. And Christopher's newest strategy, strategy, he whipped up while taking a shit three hours before the fool's camp started. Number two, when panning out with his camera, I'll play it slower. Uh, let's see. I'll play it slow again. Yeah, I counted 22 people. Two were the Mitchells, and two were the Mitchells themselves, not 25 to 30. Just like he over-exaggerated last year. This is, this is the most important one, though. Out of all those attendees, all those, I say all 20, if you guys noticed, I played it slow, 90 to 94% of those attendees were elderly and or foreigners, which I've touched on for years as who he targets because they're not research savvy to find out Christopher Mitchell and Stacey Mitchell are crime committing scammers. All right, let's keep going. Is when you do all the way over with if you were activating the system, and it's really the gatekeeper of what you will see everywhere. When all you Like I said, 90 to 94% of the people that attended that scam gathering were either elderly and or retirees. So the entire room looked a combination of the an embassy, of people waiting to get their visas fixed, and a retirement home. Today is Sunday, January 9th, my 43rd birthday. Ah. <sighs> And when you reach a new birthday, a new milestone, at least for me, I like to think back on the previous 12 months and reminisce on the year. And this past year was the absolute greatest year of my entire life by far. And nine days in to 2022, I'm thinking, man, how am I going to surpass last year? And um, 
some of the milestones I reached in this past year. Well, I got a brand new $20,000 smile. <laughs> made more money than I've ever made before in my entire life. Last month in December, I ended the year by making over $143,000 in the month of December. And uh, I made, golly, over 200 videos for you guys, my YouTube audience. In In the last 12 months, I gained over 20,000 new subscribers on my YouTube channel. Uh, we traveled to uh, all kinds of different places. And um, I went to my first ever World Series in Houston, Texas. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, on Christmas Day, I attended the Phoenix Suns game in Phoenix, Arizona, sat courtside. Today, Sunday, January 9th, I'm sitting in the front row at the 40-yard line inside of Allegiant Stadium to watch the last game of the season for the Las Vegas Raiders. So the pinnacle of all his traveling this year was him does it include Stacy in anything? Was going to a World Series game alone, then a Suns game alone, and then a Raiders game alone, but never included Stacy in anything. What about those games? You live two miles from the stadium. What about the other seven? home games you missed for the Raiders, all right? And again, getting back to the uh, the pinnacle of this traveling. So, yeah, you went to San Diego, which is a couple hours away you drove, and you went to a baseball game again, all right? Not, what's, not what Stacy probably wanted to do. Far the furthest thing for she, well, Chris Fred to go to a baseball game because it's all about him. It's all about me, me, me. Doesn't give a shit about her. Doesn't give a about a shit autistic son who is fucking almost three years old. Can't even say a word. All he does is squeak like a monkey. So again, oh, but they did go to Miami for a couple days. Ooh, all right. Didn't film what they did down there because he was probably scared shitless. Like, wow, why the fuck did I come down here? Oh, shit. Watch your back. Watch your back. Which is exactly the proper thing to do down there. So, again, that's the pinnacle. Everything's about me, 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 me. Let's keep going. And um, a couple days ago, my wife and I, just uh, gave $20,000 to the poor. Uh, we buy lots of meals to feed hungry people. Uh, we build uh, um, homes and shelter for people in third world countries that are sleeping in the mud, covering themselves up with cardboard boxes. Uh, we build wells for people who literally have no water. They're dying of thirst. And... Um, we help innocent children, victims of the sex slave industry. So we help them get out of that industry. We put them up in a place to help them recover, keep their dignity intact. Uh, we give them education so they can move on with their lives. And um, that's the number one thing that my wife and I are so happy about from all of the money that we make now in our lives, that we get to give so much back and make a difference in so many people's lives around the world. We stayed here for the last few nights to celebrate my birthday. We had our second annual meetup group 
for the members inside of my private inner circle. We got to meet some amazing, friendly people. We celebrated my birthday last night by having dinner together at Prime Steakhouse. And uh, right now we're staying in a $2,000 a night suite. Notice how, and this is very, very key. Notice how the entire video, there's no talk of gambling, winnings, no footage of them walking throughout the casino, them sitting down and discussing what they learned in this fucking bullshit fucking scam meeting and what how they implemented it that day or night in the casino and talked about nothing, nothing about what normal people do, all right, that hold these events, all right, because again, it was just one big scam. And out of the 20 people that went, he got his boyfriend, Brandon, all right? Got him locked up in a Croxford, put him up for the night, you know, uh, did a 30, 40 minute interview of lies and then uh, got their uh, game on uh, later that evening. And that is typical behavior, all right? Again, typical behavior of a man who's banned from gambling at the, that casino and sits in a room and storytells, okay? He doesn't go down and prove it. He doesn't go down, all right? Because again, he was banned for five months, got a, got a uh, few lifted, but he still can't gamble. You can go there, all right? You can go to the shop, go to eat, go to walk around, you know? Get his uh, nuts off doing that, but he can't gamble at him. All right, that's a key point. And now I'm known as the goat all over the freaking world. Um, I make more money in a month now than most people make in three or four years working at a nine to five job. Now pay attention. Uh, what we're going to show you here, it's nothing new. Uh, we've done it in every single video multiple times, bust them in many, many lies. And we're going to show you that math doesn't add up to prove uh, we, these lies. We catch them in again. So, again, claims he started to gamble, and now, it's now three years ago, all right, 2019. And his th first, three, first year of 2019, he supposedly lost $390,000. It's supposed to be $390,000, not $390. In debt from losses, okay? So again, that's what he, this is all the claims he made numerous times. Claims. I'm not saying they're true. They're claims, which will uh, prove to be lies. Then two years ago, early, like within months of 2020, he's claimed he's uh, made millions of gambling and was a well-off multi-millionaire. All right? And that was in 2020. So after the first year, he not only corrected within a couple of months the losing of the 390000 but then he made millions, all right, millions. And, and it doesn't, and again, the math doesn't add up because all you guys, those idiots that watch his videos, and I'm hoping you guys are paying attention, I don't think you guys can do math. You guys could barely probably tie your shoes, but I'm trying, I've been trying to help you forever. Okay. It doesn't add up. He says all these stories. He says them multiple times. He recycles all these videos of the stories. So it should be really easy to catch for you guys. I mean, come on, plus my videos. I point them out to you really easy. All right. So he says all this shit. So now he's supposed to be a well-off billionaire all within a few months of 2020, all right? And was making, uh, let's see, then three years claimed he, he was making, after three years, he was making 60, 70K a year, and laugh, laughably, he claimed he made $160,000 and he completed his goal of $100,000 in a month, okay? Now, let's listen to his story, and we'll show you and prove you. Once again, all his lies, and the math uh, proves it. 
So yes, and, um, that was the story from life two is amazing, couple, man. couple days ago. If I can change my he life, he said in two years, to rich. He went from making fifty thousand dollars a year, making fifty thousand dollars a month in two years. Go and I got ahead of myself, but you guys will hear it here to a hundred thousand dollars a year in twenty twenty one. Okay. Now, let's do the math. Again, we went over this. Claims three years ago when he started. His first year, he was down $390,000 in 2019 and was dead broke. Then claims numerous times, numerous in 2020, he was a multimillionaire gambler. And early, in the early stages of 2020 and all throughout the year, Yet just said he made fifty thousand dollars a year that year. It's right in his it's right in his words. Again, it's nothing new. All right, can't bust them in so many lies every video, and it's just so comical. All right, in early twenty and all. Yet just said he makes twenty fifty thousand dollars a year that year. So that would add up to only. Six hundred thousand dollars a year. This is all claims. I don't. I'm not saying he made it. It's all bullshit lies. He did make a lot of money scamming people, and well, the law will eventually catch up to him there. So minus, so six hundred thousand dollars minus the three hundred ninety thousand dollars that he was dead broke and lost in 2019. All right. That would be a claim of only a $210,000 yearly profit. Again, I say claim because, again, it's all bullshit lies, he says. But yet, in early 2020, and all his videos, he always says, go back and watch them. And I urge everybody, yeah, go back and watch them. Give him a few bucks for his uh, YouTube pocketbook or his purse, you know, just so you can prove these lies, okay? But, again, this is a comical. Then, in 2021, the millionaire claims were almost every video, yeah, he said he was making $100,000 a month. And, again, yet said he completed his lifelong dream of making $100,000 in a month of December. So, again, let's watch that. And I got ahead of myself, but let's just watch. I'm broke to making over $100,000 a month in three years. Again, folks, you can't make this shit up. Only Christopher Mitchell can. Three days ago, three or four days ago, I can't, I'm not going to go back and look. But he just sat there and said in 2021, he made $100,000 a month. Okay, I didn't say it. I'm not putting words in his mouth. He said it. But yet we all saw him do the uh, the hundred thousand dollars a month challenge. His lifelong dream, his new lifelong dream, was to make a hundred thousand dollars gambling in a month, and he almost got there. All right, in November. Remember, the, you know the whiteboard and the markers. And, you know, documentation over conversation. You know, the document, the dark, the board, the markers, the figures that he wrote down. That's That was the proof. All right. And he almost got there in November. All right. And again, he's, ne he ne he's never made $100,000 in a month. And then all of a sudden, he achieves it. Woo! Woo! Throws a ticker tape parade uh, within his uh, rented condo. All right to celebrate with himself. But yet, a week later, maybe it was two weeks later, he claimed he made it at $100,000 every month in the month of 2021. All right? Again, you can't make these, this shit up. Only Christopher Mitchell can. And only I can bust them. then you can achieve anything you want in life as long as you believe it and you're willing to put in the work. So I'm proof of that. And um... Yes, if you focus and dedicate your life to be a career scammer, 
and you're a good storyteller and you script write up some very very poor scripted videos containing numerous lies that are easy to get caught go to your get you got you know uh life supply of white poster boards you know an endless supply of colored markers then yes you too can be a delusional millionaire like Christopher Mitchell. Then you can achieve anything you want in life as long as you believe it and you're willing to put in the work. So I'm proof of that. Oh yeah, he's definitely proof of that, all right. This picture that's been used in many videos symbolizes it, symbolizes his proof. Above the Las Vegas Strip. Let me go ahead and show you guys again. Look at that. Right there on the left, you've got the Encore and the Win. You got the Palazzo. Over here to the right, that gold tower, that's the Trump Tower. And then straight down the middle of the screen, that's the Las Vegas Strip. Treasure Island, Mirage, Bellagio, Caesar's Palace, Cosmopolitan, Harrah's. Everything is right there. All those casinos are there and more coming soon because of gambling scammers like Christopher Mitchell uh, fooling suckers to pay him every day for a well-known money losing strategy every single day. And this has been going on for decades and decades. And people think they can beat the casino and you can't. Not a one single casino will let you beat them, okay? So bottom line, once again, Stay away from scamming the scamming Mitchells, praying off the elderly and foreign, foreigners, okay? Now let's dive into another hot topic, a hot off the press, okay? And this is commit Christopher Mitchell and his committing of tax fraud, okay? Now, if many of you guys were paying attention to my videos over the last three weeks, you were, I was uh, dropping hints of juicy info coming down the pipeline and uh, I can unveil it now that Christopher Mitchell is uh, has to has, he has either had or about to have a preliminary hearing with the IRS uh, like I said it's just a preliminary hearing that I got tipped off to and what I would like to ask everyone is because we me and a bunch of people that I know as well as uh, some viewers, hopefully. Uh, we've been doing this for the last two years now, uh, as far as getting a hold of the IRS. Now, if you're a victim and you want some justice served, or you're just a viewer and you want justice served, the link in the, is in the description below, right here. How do you report suspect, suspected uh, tax fraud activity? All right, it's very simple. It's basically asking you, how you do it? You know, if you feel somebody's doing tax fraud activity, we all know Christopher has. You go to the link below, you click on it, and it'll take you to right here. And then right here, you're going to click on use form 3949-A information referral. You draw, uh, uh, click on it, download it, fill it out. It's got easy questions about, you know, what, pot, what, uh, you know, suspect you to, uh, you know, this tax, you know, whatever. Uh, the victims can actually say they actually gave Christopher Mitchell money uh, via Bitcoin, some type of way that could be hid uh, for services, for fault services based on false claims, which would be wire fraud scam, okay? And then right there it says, we will keep your identity confidential when you file a tax fraud report. You won't receive a status progress update due uh, to a tax return confidentiality under IRC 6103, okay? So again, it's all confidential, all right? So may, this goes out to mainly the victims. If you guys just want some type, tr want to try to get some type of justice served on the Mitchells for scamming you and scamming all these other people, and the people like uh, the people, the guy from Australia lost everything, right? And again, we're going to touch on this 
in my upcoming video on Sunday. All right. The possible suicides. All right. That's going to be a topic of my Sunday, one of my many topics on Sunday. The possible suicides that you we don't know yet because we can't, we'll never be able to talk to these people if they have. And many people do. When they lose everything, all right, and I'll explain exactly about the Australian interview, okay? When you lose everything, you got nothing going. And there's been many people over the last two years that have had this happen by many scammers, uh, especially Christopher Mitchell. When you lose everything, you have nothing going for you, all right? People see a means to an end by suicide. And that's something that we I've never uh, uh, talked about, never was a topic, but we're going to definitely include that on Sunday's video. So again, if you're a victim, the, please take your time to do this. And all you're going to do is say, look, I sent this guy Bit Bitcoin on services proven uh, uh, for, for services based on false claims. It turned out to be a scam. I just want you guys to know. Uh, that I watched his videos because of this, and it's, uh, he claims to make all this money, uh, and, but it has ways of not paying taxes, which we've all seen him do, okay? And viewers can do it, okay? So again, all these people, we know the pussies from America aren't going to do it. They're like a bunch of fucking bitches who get around and talk all day. Like, kind of like the, the, the show The View, when there's five or six bitches, all right? Or five or six women, classy women. Sorry, I didn't mean to call them bitches. But these guys just do it all day. They live in that form. And they talk like bitches all day and do nothing. They think they do. But as been proven many times in my videos, they do shit. Please, don't be like them. All right? Take a stand. All right? Don't make us do all the work. Don't, especially don't, don't make me do all the work. Because I've... Definitely done a ton of work, and it showed that Christopher Mitchell is, this plane's going down. It's been going down, and we're going to touch on that, too. So, again, on Sunday. So, again, simply go to that, click the link in the description below, fill out, download this form, fill it out, mail it in. It's all confidential, and let's get this cocksucker uh, behind bars once and for all. Again, he does... It's 100% confirmed he does have a preliminary interview or hearing with the IRS uh, at the beginning of the year. He's either had it or about to have it. So, again, there's no no need to hide it because if he knows they're already on to him, and I wonder how they got on to him. Hmm. Oh, oh. Was, maybe it wasn't a fail there. Cyber Stalker Todd, maybe it wasn't a fail to be continued. You fucking pansy ass, pussy ass, shit talking wimp who does nothing but all day fucking stalk people. All right, so you can talk about them on your show. You don't leave your house, you don't go to no poker rooms. All you do is just sit there behind your four walls, fucking cyber stalking people. All right. And I guarantee you, guarantee you cyber stalked Mickey already. And you have all his information. You said you were too much of a pussy. He ran you. He ran that interview. All right. Yeah. You you tiptoed around the questions that we all know. And I want to address that in another interview about Mickey. So again, everyone, let's get this cock, these bitches behind bars. All right. Thanks. Have a great weekend. See you Sunday.